My memory has just been sold. Angel is a centerfold. That's that. You know what that song's about? Stop. I didn't. So my Stop mom, baby centerfold. My mom said something to one of her friends when I was younger, and I was singing that song, and she's like, "Isn't it so funny?" He has no idea what it means, and that threw me off because I was like, "Okay, it clearly means something bad." Yeah. And then, probably five, ten years later, I figured out what a centerfold was, and I was oh. like, "Oh my god, I didn't know that I was singing that." And my mom laughed about me singing it, and like said to her friend, "I always knew, knew the song, but I just never really paid attention to the lyrics." Yeah. And one day I was just listening to it, and I go, "There's a whole story here. It's about a guy who his high school crush that he used to love, and like she was kind of like uh, the girl next door, kind of in class." He's now older and he gets out like a Playboy magazine and she's the girl in the, the centerfold. centerfold. And he's so conflicted by the memory that he used to have in her and what she is now. And like, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Once What's I, a centerfold? Like the, the, when you yeah. open the like the Playboy, the centerfold that like flops out, it's like the long oh, like oh, main oh. picture inside. A pinup girl, like, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. is, is centerfold um, when you open the middle of the magazine, it's like a bigger picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So center, centerfold's like the main attraction. Yeah. Pretty much. It's like a big feature to get like Got to it. Okay. full cause body. I, Cause I know like Stas and all of them have like centerfolds. So I didn't understand what that like centerfold yeah. meant. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. it makes sense. You yeah. learn something new every single day. I don't know if it's as good as the cover. The cover's definitely, but, well, usually the person who's on the cover is the centerfold. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <sighs> Mm. Mm. Isn't it nice that it's just a dude's podcast, Dude. dude's show today? Uh, hell, hell yeah, Just brother. the boys. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, yeah. And that's when the boss comes in. <laughs> <laughs> like a sitcom. No, this is so nice though. I think having you on another angle. We've I got, like got Staten looking Island at Mom. you. Yes, and also we don't have to have our listening faces on camera the whole time. Yes. I, also I, have, realized a, I have a horrible, um, I guess you could call it resting. I, I have a resting thinking face. Re my thinking face and focusing face and anxiety face are all the same. I just look miserable, but I'm trying to keep myself together. And like, that is my biggest issue. But I do, I also am very insecure about my side profile. So if Matt's talking, I don't want to be like, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of so many things. I'm overthinking this whole thing, but I do like this better. I can see everybody. Yeah, I, and, and I'm not gonna lie for the, I mean, I'm surprised you've been dealing with this for the past three years, but when I watched the episode, I'm, I always feel bad that you have to, because if it was, if it was, if we were both yeah, in the same yeah. shot and you were talking, I also have a resting dick face. I, I don't look yeah. good, especially when I'm really trying to pay attention. I'm trying to like figure out what the hell you're saying. Mm -hmm. oh, I your, don't have a good face. Your it's face more, is, the, Zane's face is just scrunched and confused. So there's things that we edit out where we're like, Zane, are you confused? He's like, no, no, I'm trying to keep up. But you guys don't see it because you, we have our own. thankfully cameras. we have our own shots, yeah. but this Matt and Mariah better. don't have the same shot. And I do feel really best, but I really like this. We all get to look at each other. It's like we're in the living room. Cause when we're yeah. all talking, no one's better. ever sitting next to each other. And we're also, all always facing each it other. It is awkward being like shoulder to shoulder and looking yeah. up there yeah. that closely. I miss so many of your jokes that you say because like we're still like thinking and you're like right yes. there. Just stuff goes over my wavelength. Like yeah. having your energy in that corner of the room, it, it feels just more feels balanced. Better. Yeah, yeah. We're 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 on to something new here. I think. Exactly. I know. We're, we're I'm we're going headphones to switch it again. We're try, we're trying to switch it up a bit. You know what I'm saying? Go for it. What do you mean you're doing? He, you've been wearing headphones. I I haven't worn headphones this season at all. Oh really? No. Wait. Really? You've not, never not, worn headphones. Not since the yellow. I've, no, I've never worn headphones. But I I thought I do I do the fucking thumbnails. I always got to make your face smaller because you're the fucking the headphones. And I've been doing go, that. He go hasn't look back been at wearing thumbnails. them. What? Go look back at the thumbnails. Whoa. I'm not, I'm not paying attention. Mandela effect. <laughs> the very, wow. The Berenstain Bears. Should we run the intro? Let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, off to a new start. <laughs> Happy Y'all ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All we did was switch my seat. Oh, I, I forgot. <laughs> It's Valentine's to, Day. To bigger and better. <laughs> Happy, Happy like Valentine's Day, y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, you ready? Yup. <clears throat> it's it's Comic Talk, baby. baby. With Woo! a splash of love. Unfiltered. <laughs> Ow. Woo. Ain't that right? <laughs> <laughs> and this season of love is sponsored by <laughs> the flavor of love. You guys remember that show? Oh, the flavor, flavor of love. Flavor, remember, flavor. remember we ran into him in Vegas? Oh my, 
he getting I, off the plane. I can't believe that that happened. I freaked. He was was he wearing his clock? <laughs> yeah, that's insane. So. Like, dude, I respect him for still sticking with that character, mm -hmm. even at the airport years after the show. Because then wasn't that all part of the show or part of his character? Or like There's, he had like, it on the floor. Look, what what, what wow. band was Flavor Flav in? He wasn't in Run DMC. No, so. I, I just remember him from the collab song Anthrax. Yeah. And, oh, man, what was their group? I don't remember. But it was, the, yeah, boy, bass. He, he's always How been you go? rocking the clock. And then, but there was such a time in, like, reality TV where it's the surreal life. And then Flavor Flav got his own show. And then we were trying to find him love and stuff. Yeah. And you know what? I remember all those shows being so good back then. Like, what, were you, what was your guys' favorite like love reality sh house shows. Rock, rock of Love. Brett rock, Michaels. Dude, oh, that one was really yeah. good. You look like him right now with that pink hat. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my hat, so I'm wearing the pink out girl hat. I like <laughs> Andy, really Andy nice. Dick's The Assistant. Do you remember that? I was think, on, didn't we watch that on the- um, I've never even heard of that. And you know who Andy Dick is? No. He's we, like a, he he tried, to, tried to touch me. Did he really? Yeah. He's had like a lot of issues with touching, but- <laughs> Wait, let, let, let's get into that for thumbnail purposes. <laughs> um, yeah, he um, he harassed me and my friend. <gasps> Recently? It, it was literally the day I moved to LA. <laughs> it was our, fr it was our was, first celebrity. Welcome I to remember, Hollywood. I remember being like, oh my God, first celebrity, Andy Dick. And then we were like all hanging out and he was at the bar and he like came over and started talking to who me, is, and, who, me and Josh. Who that is? And all this, he like tried getting me and Josh to go home with him. In my head, I'm like, this is a celebrity. Like this is like and this wasn't, is so. And wasn't the guy that was with him his like side piece? Boyfriend. His boyfriend. Yeah. That was a full he, ass Andy boyfriend. Dick's not gay. Uh, he, he was he's, that he's, night. He's, he's very feminine, but I don't think he's gay. No, he's. I don't know, man. You don't know who this is. I've never seen that man. I've never seen that man in my life. life. <laughs> man of my life. He was in uh, what's that show? The army show. The army show. The army movie. Sorry. Heath, I believe you. He's in Dude, where's Thank my you. car? Remember in Dude, Where's My Car oh, when they yes. get in the cage? And he's like, he's the guy with like the long hair who's in the cage next to him. Movie. He's also an old school. He like is teaching like yes. the dildo class. Oh he's my like, God. That yeah. was such a good movie. But anyways. Anyways. But yeah, we really got a good taste of Hollywood that night. We're like, yeah. wow, is this, is this Hollywood? <laughs> For the first night, <laughs> like it couldn't have been more Hollywood. Yeah, it was, it was wild. But happy uh, Valentine's Day, everybody. Yeah. Um, we're, we're glad that you're here with us. If you're single like me, um, this show is the one for you. <laughs> what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? We really don't do do much for Valentine's Day. Uh, I feel like, like you guys a do. couple years ago we did like horseback riding on we did yeah. it on Valentine's Day, right? But we really don't like plan or do I, every day is Valentine's that's Day. Right. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's right. That's that's still something though. Like I, you don't need to go on a trip in order to like celebrate right, Valentine's like, Day. No, I feel like we're very casual with like I guess I don't want to call them intimate holidays, but like love holidays. Yeah. 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 Like maybe maybe throw a couple like heart shaped pancakes in the morning. Oh, that's right. all Something, cute. Yeah. Valentine's Day used to be a dinner and a movie. Remember that? Mm. Just a, a nice dinner and a nice movie. I pick. Patricia. <laughs> no, I, you pick. <laughs> Patricia and I were going and staying at like a haunted hotel. Oh, I feel like that's some shit you guys. I don't wait. Yeah. When what? Is, this, when, is this episode coming out on Valentine's on, Day? Yeah. <laughs> the video on Valentine's Day. Are you surprising video. her? Uh, I, well, you don't want to tell people the exact hotel where they're gonna like come and find us, right? I think. I don't you're think. Good. Yeah, I think you're good. <laughs> Oh, hey, we're staying at, like the, staying at like the Coronado <laughs> Hotel. Oh, cool. Yeah, right. which is like that massive one that's down near <laughs> San Diego. And that uh, uh, it's like where the guy who wrote like Wizard of Oz wrote it. It's historic. It's been there since like 1800s, 1900s, whatever. But it's apparently haunted in a cool way. Wow, that sounds like a dream. Yeah. Should we do I'm, that? I'm make, sure, make sure to um, set it. up if you can. I oh, like I don't know why people, more people don't do this. Set up like a night cam or something. I don't know. It would be fun. Just oh, like we'll you set, set it up and don't look at it until you go back home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do a little fast forward. And if you see some shit move, that's it. Boom. Us Next did. podcast. Okay, cool. I'm going to do that now. I was, thi I was I thinking- I don't know if I would want to see it. I, I would. Mm -mm. You wouldn't want to see it? I don't want to see it. <laughs> you, you, no. Zay watches it. And literally the ghost is going inside, <laughs> inside of your nose. And you're like, you're possessed, like banging your head against I, the wall. I don't, I don't want to see it in the moment. I want to see it after I'm gone. Okay. You know what I mean? That's why I would set up a camera. Like the last night. But no, I would not look at that footage while I'm still in the room. Absolutely not. I'd wait. So it, on Valentine's Day, unless it's, I, I, unless it's a surprise, it is, is it a secret? Not that we don't like it. We're just, it. Re, I'm not just saying this and I don't want to make people feel bad, but every day feels like Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. You know I mean? like, That's fucking cute. I For me too. I don't feel like it enhances. Yeah, we'll like do something cute. I think Patricia and I, it's like a big day or that was like the first day we've been like, 
public with our like relationship. On oh. Valentine's Day? Yeah. We had like a bit of like a soft launch in like the opening uh, of us. Dude, that term is new, right? Yeah. Soft okay, because I just started seeing. I'm like, is has this been a term? Yeah. I really like that term, soft it, launch. I think it was uh, started with like restaurants. You do like a like a soft launch or before like a grand opening. Yeah. Where you have like. Yeah. You know. I know that, but for, like relationship wise, I just I really like the term. Yeah. You start yeah. hinting that you're with like the guy. Yeah. But like you're not like tagging him. Like right. Patricia, I posted like a photo of us, but it was like no tag. Mm. Because, like, oh, so what? that's not, that's a soft launch. Not a, not a Soft, hard launch. Yeah. yeah, a hard launch was like In obviously feed. on Valentine's picture of us smiling. That's it. Oh, I you see Tag. for me, a hard launch is main feed. Hard post right that there. Was that, main feed. That's oh. hard launch. Soft launch, you start posting them on Snapchat, on Instagram stories, but you don't. You don't show any love to them, but you just start They're showing just people. You're showing them off. But yeah, exactly. You see like there's like a hand in bed. Yes, or, like, yes. or like there's coffee, but you're taking the photo and the guy's like right behind And like there's it. nails done holding a coffee cup. It's clearly not <laughs> yes. your nails. Or you're at the beach. Both your legs are close together. Right, right. Like close, close. You know what I mean? But not on top of each other. That's soft launch. You're you're showing your friends and your close friends that you're together, but you don't want to let the, you don't want to let like That's the right. uncles and aunts know. Yeah, no way. Yeah. No way. So I guess it's like a little like special for us. Heath exactly. and I naturally soft launch every day when we post pictures because we're both so insecure. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll take pictures, but we'll crop our heads out and just post, <laughs> just post our outfits because we're proud of our outfits, but it's the face. You haven't had a hard launch yet. Wait, <laughs> not no, yet. We have, you we guys have. should. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, if you're watching, this is my girlfriend Mariah. How long did y'all date until you did the hard launch? Like it was a. It was I a decent amount no of time, idea. I feel. Was it like, this is my girlfriend, Mariah? Well, like, no. It, what oh, was the we, just did, we did that. We did no, the, um, we did it, the, the acro aerobics. video. Yeah, acrobatic video. And he just was like, you know what? Let's not like make it a big thing. Just like, this is my girlfriend. And that was it. And and wait, then, what? That's how you, that's that's how you yeah. announced it? Yeah, Some yeah. people had an idea because we were in the apartment and somebody posted a Snapchat of like us doing cartwheels and I was in the video. And people were noticing that you were with your girlfriend and Heath was with me. And it was just the four of us and people were trying to like, and he was like, whatever, let's just do it. That's crazy. We just didn't make it a big deal. He was like, oh, she's my girlfriend. Okay, so today we're gonna like, do- that, yeah. I, That's not, so, a lot of people could Was do that, that like our first times hanging out? Was that aerobics video? No, 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 no. Was, that was- She was hanging out at the apartment, the the big apartment that Zane and I yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, The one you she, saw yeah. on the couch. Aerobics video. No, acrobatics with me, Zane. Oh, acrobatics. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I said aerobics. aerobics video. No, I'm like, no, I felt like a... I knew you for a while. No, 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 the no, one no. with like Liza. Shit. Yes. Yeah, oh. yeah, no, no, yeah no. me and Liza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zane's girlfriend, that was Liza. When you guys dated for a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good. Uh, Liza, I miss you. <laughs> gotcha. Um, I was thinking on Valentine's Day, I want to do the, spe I want to do speed dating. Like a legit? I think a legitimate, should. And they they have to have one on Valentine's Day, right? Like that, yes. that's, that's crazy Zane, not to have one. I can't, I'm so shocked that you want to do that. The whole point of like, the whole point of, for me, a date, what makes me anxious is how long the date's going to be. In my head, it's like, damn. I'm you don't gonna, want to commit to an hour with that's Wow, what I'm this saying. is going to be a two and a half dinner date. I was saying date. that, I, I said you, you like, like the pace of it. Exactly, yeah. the pace, the fact that it's like, if I get five minutes, Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> because it, because it gets the end, and then that person's gonna forget, and I'm gonna forget. Like it's something that I don't have to think about, and then I'm on to the next person. Say the girl's gonna be like, the name's Gina. What's up? It's like a really good forty year old version where he's like, is that your name, Gina? It's Gina. <laughs> Listen, look at it. Get back on the old horse. Yeah. I don't know. I just. I don't. I. I'm, uh, I'm just being. I'm just having fun with my brain right think, now. Yeah. I don't think I would actually do it, but like, I think it should. sounds like something. I would have fun doing. I don't think the girls are going to be that attractive at like a local speed dating thing. Where's it going to be at the rec center? <laughs> it's about finding love. I I know, but I'm like, it's going to be an interesting but Matt, catch of the but pool. You, is it like the movies or is it much less like? It's 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 a lot less How cool you than you know? think it is. I've I've seen like videos. <laughs> oh, you've I seen wait. Oh, you've seen actual videos of speed yeah, dating and you on can the internet. Go and like everybody gets up and then they like switch and then it's just like a big rotation. <laughs> it's a rotation, but it's a round table. It's like, oh fuck. It's, no. it's <laughs> bunko, but finding love. <laughs> Zane, you're already going to be at this, like talking to one person to be like, <laughs> Zane, yeah, Zane's like, going to be looking at the other like, girls yeah. around waiting or, for their Or turn. there's a girl I really liked already. And I'm just like, hey, I'm yeah, as soon as he walks I'm in the room, here. he's gonna pinpoint the one he wants and just be waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't need to do this one. I'll just wait. Oh, I know which one. I'll wait for you. Then you didn't even talk to anybody. I I just know. When you know, you know. Wow. She's the one. Oh. I think I can't I, think of anything else. I think you should do it. Do you on Valentine's Day? I think it'd Day. be really fun. I I know what I did last year it was really sad. I was watching 
Nat and Todd have a romantic dinner date outside. Oh, they of, did like pasta of my right? backyard. Did, like, yeah, thing. Mm. I remember I was like sitting there watching TV and I kept looking. I'm just like, <laughs> 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 Are you, it was really really sad. No, I was thinking if you were the only single one, but there's David and Elena. no, yeah. I re- You're not I'm, alone. No, no, I'm saying I'm really curious to see who gets a girlfriend first because I see me, David, and Ilya are the same. The same level, yeah. yeah. I can't imagine David with a girlfriend. Ilya would. I think Ilya's the one. I who's can't a imagine. Bit I, he, he, yeah, he, he wants. That. I can't imagine Ilya with a girlfriend, and I can't. Im- I can't imagine myself seeing him with his um his European fling. It it worked. Like I I didn't think it was. Weird. Yeah, but it was a it was, it was a fling. It wasn't. And, it wasn't though in his mind. Yeah, I think like. Ilya's too work. Uh, he's he's too focused on work right now to I feel like to ever take yeah. the time to do that. You kind of saw like you saw how he was like stressed out about work. Yeah, he stressed. She, she was alone the whole time. He, he stresses. I feel like he stresses out about work like every day, which is good. Like he's, yeah. he has a goal and he's a really motivated person. But I feel like I, I don't think he can t- like. Focus because you have to really focus on a girl. If you, especially when you first start dating, mm-hmm. you really have to push it to the side and focus if you want it to work. Am I right or wrong? I don't know. I feel like you, especially in the beginning of a relationship, it's so like sensitive and tender. Like you can't be just like this. I don't know. I feel like you know it when you know it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also just how you want to spend your time too. You, there's so much. There's so much love and like comfort that you get from being in a relationship. You ever told somebody you love them? A mom. Did you mean it? Yeah. <laughs> Jordan went to clap. <laughs> No, in my head, I've said it. Okay, you thought you were in love. Yeah, in my head, I've said it. And there's even girls that I've met a, like a week before, I'd be like, wow, I'm in love. Really? Kind of like, oh, yeah. Like a love at first sight? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but not to, the, not to the point where it was like super like kids, like okay. marriage, kids, future. It all flashed before your eyes? Yeah, they, it flashes before my eyes and I'm just like, not the one. I should probably call an Uber. <laughs> I should leave. <laughs> yeah, I should leave. When I'm drunk, I, lo- Oof, I love everybody. <laughs> you told me you love me no no i mean like any girl i see oh if there's a girl i'm like slightly interested in i'm i'm like i can go to vegas right now and get married <laughs> i don't care maybe that that's the way that maybe yeah, that is the everybody's way everybody's different it seems very on brand ever since that movie what happens in vegas i've kind of always wanted to do it because what if i got to land like a cameron diaz you know right. because you don't know hey who knows i know it's i know it's a it's a movie and it's actresses or actors but it's possible. It's possible. They base movies off of things that happen in real life. I mean, yeah. how many times do you think a year that happens where two people get drunk and then they get married? I'm not talking about people that are dating already. Uh, and they end up staying together. Or yeah, no, no, it, doesn't. Just getting married doesn't at that Vegas chapel. Just getting like. I think meeting, it's a lot more than we every think. Every day. Yeah. Like yeah. people that just meet, like they're not dating or that anything. That night. Uh, they, yeah. I think every uh, day. Every day. Every yeah. day for sure. That's why. Somebody meets a stranger and gets married. Or like, yeah. or like 10 people a week. Cause the, the weekend gets a little bit more. There's 10 dry, people a week. They have, they have it in a drive through too. <laughs> there's like a drive. There's like the one where you can book the chapel. Oh, that's and some you shit done. Get it you over with. Go through the side, like a freaking yeah, taco. I'll do a number four. Uh, and I do. Uh, and I'll do the wed- yeah, uh, a wedding hold, ring number three. Please <laughs> hold the prenup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That does seem like something you would do though. I've I'll th- think about it. Have you ever gone to like one of those like drive through like uh, Vegas chapel like weddings? Have you I, witnessed any? I, I, I would love to I witness didn't one. see a drive through but my grandparents got remarried in Vegas at one of those little chapels. Or like renewed their vows. Yeah. Nice. Do you, how much is it? Like, do they pay you for like to get the Elvis impersonator to come out? They didn't do anything like crazy like that. It was just they got dressed up and everything we, in Vegas is cheap. We I just watched like. them. Can you go in and just like? I would love to go in and just like watch like some just two just cra- a random two crazy people be just a witness. Sorry, right, just here to <laughs> wait. I, you can though, right? You can, can't you walk into those like? I think you can be an audience or <laughs> audience. audience. I, I feel like uh, somebody in the crowd. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be really fun to do if we were there one weekend. Just like, hey, let's see if there's anybody at the chapel getting married today. <laughs> Does anybody like object? Zane? <laughs> or they're like two crazy people with just extremely long vows, and you're like, okay, sorry, I, I thought this would. They be They just this met is- twelve hours before. Yeah, but they have a wild people. Are um, you gonna write your vow the night before? No, we're not doing exchanging of like personal vows. Oh, like because we're getting married in like the Greek church, so it's like there's a whole like ritual. I know some people they wait until the night before their wedding, so it's like the most real you can possibly feel. And then you write that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no was... not a procrastination thing. Cause you would just be putting it off just to <laughs> yeah, put it no. off. This is so it's like your actual thoughts like the night before going into it. And it's supposed to be like your most genuine, real. 
yeah. emotions. I don't, yeah. Every wedding though I've been to where they do the exchanging of vows, it's, it's just for people who want it to like be more personal. personal. Yeah. But honestly, I don't even want to put the pressure on Patricia to like write something. Cause then it's like, then you're like more nervous about doing like this speech and statement. Right. It's better just to have the person go, do you take this person to hold? Be like, I do through sickness I, and health. I hope, my, gonna, fian I hope <laughs> my fiance understands that I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> Zane's going to put his into chat GPT. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. My vows, yeah. make them make loving. No, like, I'll, like I know how I feel, but I'll just, I'll just um, write out words that I feel and then it'll write out a whole nice thing for me. Right. Yeah. Right. I think that's all that matters is that you try. I'm sure somebody has to have done it already. I'm not oh, expecting absolutely. anybody like else though to give speeches. At Cody, Cody Coe's wedding, his friends are like, they're so funny. Like everyone had like incredible speeches that were like really, really great. Cause he was just very funny friend. How was it? Oh, it was perfect. It, it was looked perfect, really nice. Looked really pretty. Perfect wedding. Like, and they, as like a bride and a groom had so much fun. Yeah. I think sometimes you go to weddings and you see, they, they did a really out. good job at like sticking together because I, I've been learning this though uh, through like, people on TikTok will say it, or I've heard it from, actually Alicia Marie told me, she heard from someone that on your wedding day, you should stick with your bride or your groom throughout the day because you'll have the same memories together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes brides and grooms will like, uh, uh, you know, like kind of split up during a party, they'll be over they there do? and they have, yeah, it's sometimes it's like a party. It's not, I'm saying it tends to sometimes happen, but if you like kind of commit to staying together, you have the same memories of way enjoying a day. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, they like, I think they did a really good job of doing that. They had so much fun and they just had a perfect like amount of people and friends and stuff. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I remember I, I I was, um I saw their pictures are they post on Instagram and like you could tell by their faces genuinely, it was like the best day of their life. Oh yeah. It was, just, it was so, I, I literally had a tear in my eye. I was really? like, yeah, it was, it was just such like beautiful pictures that they both posted and like him posting Kelsey in the car with her flowers. Like, wow, this is like so nice. Like they did it perfectly through, through, the, through the internet. Like right. how I saw it through the internet, it looked they got in the car? perfect. It looked like they were in the car or like a limo. Maybe her friend took that over. I don't know. Maybe maybe a friend took it of her and and they sent it to Cody. Shit, did I miss them like leaving? No, because they partied with us. There's there's a picture of they, Kelsey they, in a car, right? It's and, okay if you missed she, it. It's yeah, okay. it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> I, I there was, was a car. I was describing the pictures that like that oh, I saw maybe there on was. their page. Matt has FOMO of somebody's oh wedding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kelsey and Cody are describing them like they're they're like they're uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> what they did in the room after. Wait, but if they went away in the car though, they, they must have just gone around the block and came back in and part <laughs> continued partying with us. Cause I don't like think it was like a formal farewell. Could have been in the car on the way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like her friend, her friend like took it over. Her food did was I, really, did really I good Did I tell you too. about when I got into the car with my brother to drive him to his wedding? Oh yeah, I think you said It was that. all like the, yeah. the guys and then the song that came on as soon as we got in the car. Yes. Randomly, it was going to the chapel. Get out of here. Literally got in the car, turned the radio on, and it was going to the chapel. Wow. And we all looked at each other and was like, if this shit ain't meant to be. <laughs> like, that is insane. So That funny. is insane. Yeah, um, I was I was on the phone with my mom last night. She had a, um, oh, crazy. Apparently, uh, sorry, but before is I this continue not the story. Monster? No, no, no. I, I just want to describe mm. while I was on the phone with my mom before I say what I had to say, but my mom, she were, she's a firefighter, if you guys didn't know. She, and they, um, there's times where um, everybody in the station will get like a mandate and they have to stay at a, a complex or they'll stay by a building that where the alarms or the fire alarms don't work. And they're, they're supposed to be stationed there all like for 12 hours, right? Okay. And it was my mom's first time being stationed to somewhere in the middle of the night. And it's crazy because it could be like a dangerous area. You don't have a weapon or anything. It, it, I just thought it was wild that like you have to be stationed in she a neighborhood had, in a car. Does she at least like have an ax? I was feeling like all firefighters so. no, she didn't have, have like, anything. Have an ax nearby. Yeah. Something, right? Yeah. Just a heavy hose. Yeah, I don't back. know. You could cut it. You can cut the story. But I, I was talking to my mom uh, yesterday and she starts um, telling me about my brother's wedding. And she's like, oh, I got the dress. She showed me the dress. I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. And I'm like, Mom, you bought a dress. When's the wedding? But like, she she, it, uh, she was like, it's in October. I was like, oh my god, what day? And she says the day of Matt's wedding. Oh no! no. And I was like, I looked at Matt. I'm like, oh my god, Matt. Oh, oh my gosh! I was my like, god. oh my god, my heart sank. Wait, I was this like, is not happening. No, 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 no. And and then she looked at she looked at the calendar, and she was a week off. I was oh like, my, my god, oh, thank god. Woo! What would what I would have done? You do? I you don't know. Had, you would have had to go to your brother's. I know, but like, like that's that. 
That would have been so sad. Zane gets one of those like FaceTime robots like, at my wedding. <laughs> You're just like Joy sticking around like at your brother's. Oh my like, gosh. <laughs> I honestly would wow. have pulled like a- Like you got a private jet. If, like, it was, if it was like one day apart, I think I would have pulled a- um, like fly in, yeah, fly, fly out, to. fly in. Yeah, I could see you doing that. Yeah. Where where I, is your brother's wedding? I don't know. Is it oh, it's in uh, in Naples. Ooh. What how far Naples is like Birmingham? Like you took a chopper. Like just oh yeah, it's, uh, you know what? It'd been so close. You could have made something yeah. work. Z Zane pulls like a spy kid and just like <laughs> parachutes into my wedding. <laughs> do people um, know? Do people know where it is yet? Where it's gonna be? Or I think like yeah, our friends do. But like, no, I think does I, anybody I'm know? To hold a bit of privacy about it, Got like it. in terms of like online stuff. Yeah, like, uh, it's in Alabama. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, that that's that's fine. Oh, but. I was I was just fucking with you. I, uh, can, can I tell you this crazy thing that happened to Patricia and I? Yeah, in yeah. We go. Oh, we go to Harry Styles' concert. That was on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. That was really really cool. We got a hookup mm -hmm. to go see Harry Styles, his birthday concert, end of the American. Tour. Was it like a? Geek? It, it was in Palm Springs, and we were already going to Palm Springs for Cody's wedding, and yeah. so we were like, "Oh, this is perfect." We go out there, we see the concert. It was awesome. What was your question about the concert? What was it so special about it? It was his birthday show. It was his, yeah, it was his birthday show. I thought it was a um I. I you know, remember the lore thing that you went to where uh, not everybody was invited, oh. it was like a private thing. I thought it was some sort of like private event. That's why I asked, but unimportant. Yeah, you could continue your story. Birthday show. Yeah. So it was just iconic and awesome. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Great time. A lot of fans of Unfiltered there, by the way. Cool. Like in, so then we had like an extra day, Thursday. We go check in our hotel where Cody and Kelsey's wedding is. And then Patricia and I were like, oh, we're gonna go run some errands. We uh we go to the mall because Patricia needed to get like a, a strapless bra for her dress at like the Victoria's Secret. She had like a bra she really wanted. We go in. <laughs> There's the detail. I love. Well, I'm telling you why I was going into the this mall. Bra yeah. this bra oh, I didn't want to be like, we went to like Victoria's Secret. I don't no, it's, it, it's funny. <laughs> you know it's what just, I mean? It's funny, it's funny. Anyways, we go into this mall and it's like, you know, one of those like kind of like deadbeat malls that's like still hanging on. It's got like a JC Penny. Mm -hmm. Our Broward Penny. Mall, yeah. <laughs> It's still got a Sears. You know, it's still hanging. Dillard's. In. Dillard's. We um it's the middle of the afternoon on a on a Thursday. <laughs> we walk in, so it's not even like that busy. We walk into this mall. We are in it for 10 minutes. I even told Patricia, I really want to stay in the car. Can you just run in and go get this? And she's like, No, you're coming with me. I have a feeling I know where this is going. And so we I'm gonna freak out. We then so we get out of the car, we go into the mall. Oh my god. We then walk back out of the mall. There's we no have way. been in there for like 10 <laughs> minutes. There's no way. <laughs> and there is a full on crime scene in the parking oh, lot. I thought, Plot twist, <laughs> not where I thought that was going either. I thought you were saying. I thought you were gonna say, you were like, it's the random mall, middle Thursday, whatever, all this stuff. Harry and Styles. Harry Styles was in this oh. Victoria's Secret. <laughs> I thought Can you were gonna imagine? Oh my god! That was, the, that was right. the setup. It was a setup yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess just, I just wanted to toss yeah. the Harry Styles thing. That's <laughs> I just wanna say we went to an exclusive concert. concert. And that's why we were out there and it was great. Uh, <laughs> we, it's a crime scene. There is security officers. I'll share the pictures like over 15 uh, uh, sheriff's department people, uh -huh. which is like a whole thing, like sheriff's department. I always like think it's like, there's one guy who's a sheriff, but sheriff is his whole department, right? Okay. Yeah. What, yeah, what's what? up with that? Yeah, because there's highway patrolmen, state police, S city cops, city cops, and then sheriff's, sheriff's department. And that's when they're wearing like the, the tan, girls. right? The tan, the tan. With, the, with the hat. Tan. With yes. the circle. Yeah, the They're, circle hat. And that gets bigger and big, bigger yeah. every scene. <laughs> and there's aliens involved. Yeah. Yeah. So we are like, well, and like, I'm so confused. It's like a huge um, perimeter of this crime scene. They're like unrolling the tape. And I'm like, my car, I, how am I gonna get to my car? She's like, and I go, what happened? Sir, sir someone dead. She goes, she goes, sir. Uh, please, we step back, get to your vehicle. And I go, well, I'm not sure, is my vehicle in this? And I'm trying to eyeball it. And I go, what happened? She goes, I cannot disclose that information <laughs> at this time. Please get in your vehicle and leave. And I'm like, okay. I want to see the body cam footage. No, wait, wait, asking. I thought you were saying your car, you you your car was in so, there. So, so, well, I'm just, this is immediately what I'm seeing. My okay. car, and so I'm trying to eyeball where my car is. And I finally see right where the tape ends, my car's right there. And I'm like, hell yeah, I can get my car. But the tape is like right near in front of my car. Uh -huh. And Patricia's like, let's get out of here. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, but I want to know what happened because I want to come back with a fucking story. <laughs> I, I'm so curious. So Patricia's getting the car. She's like, Matt, please, please, let's go, let's go. And I'm like, hold on. Did hold it look on. dangerous or does it so, seem like over? 
I'm trying to eyeball what's going on. Like, uh, uh, and I'm still really confused. He's taking notes. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. yeah, I was like getting down to like the crime scene, trying to get all the notes, <laughs> pulling out my handy dandy notebook. A guy come, walks over and I'm like, hey, so do you know what happened? He's kind of like, well, from what I understood, I think someone had a, uh, a a brick and threw it into the JC Petty. And I go, oh, whoa, that's crazy. And then I look right in front of me, like right in front of my car where these cops are huddled on the ground is a bunch of shattered glass, like a window glass. You know uh -huh. how it's that yeah. green yeah, yeah, yeah. kind yeah. of tent? It's all shattered down on the, on the concrete and they're all looking down, like pointing at it. And I go, but if they threw a brick How's into the glass there, out there, why is the glass right here? And he goes, I don't know. And then he starts like walking away and I go, there. So did somebody like throw a brick and he goes, I, I'm not sure. I'm like, was it, there wasn't like a gunfire or anything. And he goes, no, 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 I don't think so. And I'm still like strange. Hmm. And I'm trying to like listen to the cops talk and they're pointing down like multiple times on the ground, po pointing around there. I yeah. picture Matt like Dwight Schrute, like uh -huh. he's, he's just like a volunteer and they're just like, oh my God. Get this guy out of here. Hey, what's the cake? Yeah. <laughs> trying to like speak cop codes with them and everything. I know first aid if you guys need any help. Yeah, and they're just like, <laughs> and they're like get out of here. So, Thank you. so Patricia and I are like, okay, it seems like somebody went on like a brick rampage, threw a brick in a car, threw a brick in the <gasps> JC Penny. We're like, weird. And Patricia's like, let's get the hell out of here. And I'm like, fine. We go drive away. <laughs> We go get a smoothie. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I just thought, like, let's get out of here. They start driving a brick. <laughs> 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 oh, man. We drive, we drive away. We go get a smoothie. We go get a pedicure or she gets a manicure. I'll get a pedicure because we're by the pool. I want my feet uh, to look good. Hey, you deserve it. We then go to the Albertsons and we're checking out and Patricia goes. <laughs> What's but the Albertsons? It's like a, it's a grocery it's store. A off, not off brand, but it's like a, You've it's like a Kroger. Kroger. It's like a, it's like a not so good grocery store. It's like a Winn Dixie. Store. Yeah. She's no. like, what's Winn Dixie? I don't have any of those. The Piggly Wiggly. Nope. That, that was it. That's the story. No. Then we got pedicures. So Patricia goes, we should Google what happened. I'm like, good thinking. I bet like two hours have passed. Wonder what it is. We pull it up. We pull it up. The story. It was a full on shooting. The, a fire no. exchange between two cars right in front of my car. Shot. Multiple rounds, like over like 30 bullets. Shot. You would have been sitting in the car if she didn't tell you. I yes. no. Oh I, my God. I, I was like, we were, we were just in shock. Like Mad. thinking about it. Cause Whoa. I was like, that was right there in front of the car. And like, if she went in and I would have witnessed it oh completely. Or been a part of it. Imagine, been... imagine your glass was all shattered in the car. Like, that had been fucking insane. So then I go out by my car and I'm trying to like look at my See car. I'm a like, bullet hole? a bullet hole in it. And there's, uh, and so yeah, if you look up the story, and they, apparently the two people are in custody, but all that happened within 10 minutes. Is your car That's in any crazy. of the pictures? You know what? Maybe. Take a picture and frame it. But I think, I know, I think the photographers came after I left. Oh. Wow. Because like, they were just onto the scene and they just wanted people to go. How'd you not hear anything? How'd we, they they're, not? They're in a mall. I feel like in a, we, if you're we, inside a mall. But wouldn't they make an announce, like stay inside? Oh yeah. They, yeah that's you, crazy. We were second level, went downstairs and then went into the store. I can't believe there was no panicking. Yeah. It was, well, a, honestly, well, it was a dead he, mall. That, there was hardly anybody in the It's a dead mall. mall. It, think about Broward Mall. It'd probably take a long time for somebody <laughs> to like really catch that like shooting just happened unless one person in the parking lot ran right. inside and said there was a shooting. That's crazy. That's really wild. I was like, what? So like my adrenaline like was just in this weird like post aftershock, which I'm so happy we kind of found out about it two hours because we weren't like freaked out, right. but we were like just disturbed how close we were to death. And it's, it's like, like, it's like Patricia like knew that it was yeah, something, something real yeah. bananas shook us up. And then later that day, Another big adrenaline uh, uh, spike. <clears throat> Patricia and I we were like going to Mastro's and like I had a few drinks okay. and she was like, here, I'm going to drive the car. I'm like, cool. You get to drive tonight. I'm chilling. I get in the car. We're pulling out of the hotel <laughs> at the restaurant at the hotel. There's a place called like the pink cabana. It's like this nice little restaurant that a lot of people come visit the hotel just to eat at. Mm -hmm. We're pulling out of the, of in our car all of a sudden, boom right into the car and immediately no. i'm like the car didn't even beep that we were like backing into anything we look 
to the side of us. It's Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> With a gun. A brick in one hand. <laughs> um, he, uh, oh, so it's one of those, uh, what's this BMW, like super, like nice Hummers. cars. No, like the i8s or something. The one with oh. the- The sport car looking one. Yes. An i8, yeah. yes. The uh, i8, it's I one of those. And he's like, boom. And he's like pulling away from my car. And I get out and it's this dude like in 68 years old, looks like oh, freaking Jimmy God. Buffett. He's like, are you guys good? Are you guys good? <laughs> oh, he good? was drunk? And I'm like, he, he, yes, drunk, oh, slurring his no. words, super rich guy. And I'm like, babe, are you fine? And I'm just like, immediately, I'm just trying to like look at my car, see if it was damaged. Luckily, nothing. What car were you in? My Defender. Oh, oh. It defended you that day. It truly de defended me and her, my defend her. Wow. <laughs> defend her. And she, uh. defend, and she defended you at the mall that day. Mm -hmm. So it's like you guys, we just had an angel watching over us. Wow. No damage to my car. I think he damaged his car, but he was just like, are we good? We're good. Oh yeah, he, good. Didn't, he didn't want to call a cop or get anybody involved. I wrote down his license plate, but like I didn't want to like make a whole like scene out of it. Cause right. it, it, I should, I don't know. The right thing is that a, a drunk driver shouldn't go back on the yeah. road. I should have done something, but yeah. I was, it was just all happening so quick. And hell, I was, I had been drinking. I was like- You should have offered to take his car and drive him home. Mm, I was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, should have been like crazy. I should have been like five hundred bucks and this didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> rich guy, you're like make it three thousand. <laughs> yeah, especially if he's rich. Yeah, fucking empty him out. Oh god, <laughs> empty my bank account. Smash right into my car. <clears throat> was it? You have much damage or no? None. How many days like apart nothing? was that? Like you can't even. Tell? It happened the same day of the shooting and then the guy running in my car. So I was like, what the fuck? Wow. Yeah. You should know what that means already, baby. That's the best kind of notification. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. So if you have a small business, whether you're selling merch, you're selling coffee, you're selling your- um, Underwears. Exactly, phone cases, anything. Shopify simplifies selling online and in person so you can focus on successfully growing your business. Shopify covers every sales channel from an in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform. It even lets you sell across social media marketplaces like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And they're packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth. Shopify gives you complete control over your business and your brand without having to learn any new skills in design or code. And thanks to 24-7 help and extensive business course library, Shopify is there to support your success every single step of the way. I know Heath and I use Shopify for Kermoda and it's literally the easiest site yep. in the world to use for a business. We started it two and a half years ago and we still use Shopify to run Kermoda. It literally has everything. It has every single All order. The analytics, names. everything you can imagine. And literally, it makes it so easy. There's not one thing that Shopify is missing when it comes to running a business. It's so easy and we definitely recommend you use Shopify if you have any small business or any business that you're running. And it's super easy to use their platform to uh, build your website out. Yes, exactly. And now it's your turn to get serious about selling and try Shopify today. And remember, this is possibility powered by Shopify. You can sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash unfiltered, all lowercase. Again, all you got to do is go to shopify.com slash unfiltered to take your business to the next level today. Again, that's shopify.com slash unfiltered, all lowercase. Thank you, Shopify, for sponsoring today's episode on this lovely, lovely Valentine's Day. We love you. Be my, be my girl. Do you like hard candies? They're, it's fun. It's like candy corn. You only have them like one time a year. And hopefully. I like candy corn way better than I like I've, these. No, I've never liked either of those. Yo, candies. no, candy corn is banging. I like I, I like the sour kind of soft ones that they used to have like they in the 90s. They should make these with gummies. Like weed gummies? No, 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 <laughs> no, like gummies, just like gummies. Like a, like a, but that, it's like that a chewy. It's that flavor. But that's the whole point. It's a chalky Necco type texture to it. Did In elementary school, did you ever, I know we handed out Valentine's, yep. but did you ever make a mailbox? Yes, they were like old shoe boxes. And yes, then we would, and you would create, oh. I did a robot one that was like double shoe boxes and you put it in the mouth and I made these like foil arms. Whoa. Okay, yeah. why did they have everything? They had everything, like both their schools did the same thing. I know. And then it, that never happened in our school. Cause we went I to like, so left out. We went to like really nice schools. <laughs> we went to a <laughs> yeah. We had we had really Man, bad. We were in school. the magnet program. No, we weren't passing okay. out <laughs> Valentine's cards in high oh, school. Yeah, this was this was elementary school. <laughs> oh no! Um, oh, yeah. I went to Plantation Park. 
Plantation Park, my man. There's Ooh. a picture of me in the yearbook in fifth grade. We had the Valentine's Day dance for the fifth graders. And the picture of me in the yearbook is first place dancer at the first Valentine's Day dance. Oh. But not with a boy. Like there was people dancing with boys. I was dancing solo. And it was oh, like first, go. second, third. And I was like, she's <laughs> really good. <laughs> I did not care what people oh, thought. We're Oh, no, you didn't go to Central Park. Wait, do you remember you used to go to Target and get those like- I don't think I went to a Target until I was 20 years old. I did not know one existed. So what would your Valentines look like? You, you didn't get like the Nickelodeon Valentines that were Walmart. like on that- The dollar store. Perforated cardboard. Did, did the your, dollar store. Did your parents hold you hostage? I really- not no, until, her, her parents held them poor, baby. <laughs> not until I started driving. All right, 16, 17, I was like, ooh, Target, what's Target? But then again, it was like a 20 minute drive from my house. Oh, like, okay. We, I we, would, we didn't I was shop stuck. at Target either. Uh, yeah, I was a I, we dollar store. Everything was the dollar store. Okay. No, no, twenty dollar or twenty minute Target trip is like that's far. Yeah. That's that's far. I didn't to be think going. it was like a hot commodity until I moved to LA. I did not think it was a big deal, Target. Oh yeah. Oh, we right. we, we oh, got wow. we got all of ours at Walgreens. Everything was like a Walgreens. Oh right, CVS, Rite Aid, all yeah. Oh, okay. Or I the grocery store. Clothes, everything at the grocery My store. My clothes. I have a shirt that says Burbank. <laughs> 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 I just remember my parents getting mad when Valentine's came because they had to spend money to get candy for everybody. They were always just like, oh God. Uh, okay, all right. And then you got to buy like the little card things and then you slip like the lollipop so into the thing. Yeah, I remember my mom would get me a Valentine's Day card and candy every Valentine's Day. Oh, well, Day. yeah, my parents would always like go all out for me personally. Yeah. But my they would be they would be a little bit frustrated when they had to buy all those packs for everybody in school. My sea monkeys died on Valentine's Day. <laughs> You're What's a sea monkey? You ever had sea monkeys? Well, I, I'm not sure. Are they like sea? Do they kind of look like seahorses? Or like they're a little, small yeah, seahorses? Oh, it's a fish? Things. No, it's like a kid thing. You would buy a little packet of sea monkeys. You fill it up with water. You you, you open them and then they like turn into this. I feel like we just talked that's, about this. That's a sea monkey? Have we, did we not talk about this a couple episodes Ew, ago? Ew, that's a silver fish. Wait, and they yeah. crawl up here. Matt, that's baby. That's not Why did a you sea have monkey. that? Every kid has Zane, had it. Zane, Apparently when not. You, when you grow up in a dirty house, yeah. your parents, <laughs> baby, it's sea monkeys. monkeys. Oh, that ain't oh, bad bugs. No, it's a sea monkey. <laughs> oh yeah, I would. my pets would be worms. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like a, for, it was a pet you didn't even have to like feed. Oh, mm. there's, they're just not, I can't connect with that. <laughs> it's an easy <laughs> <to> connect with. <laughs> and I can connect with anything. Mar you, can, you can connect. Yeah, I'll find a way. Look at the, look at the eyes on that thing. <laughs> and you buy these? And you yeah. let them die? That they just died. They all die. All sea monkeys. Who has had sea monkeys that have lasted over? Well, two Matt, months? you know what they eat? Sea bananas. Oh, uh, uh, mm hmm. Ew. I cannot that's believe that's disgusting. No okay, way. I only had them one time and I just remember they died on Valentine's Matt, that I can't is, believe That's some white shit I can't right believe there. we're pet shaming Matt right now. <laughs> that's that's a so monkey. Shit. Matt, I got you beat. My hamster died on Christmas day. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> How to die. Too yeah. much eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> that thing lasted too long. Do, the, do those things last long? They I, do. Your mom and dad on. are probably like, get rid come of it. On. My, my squirrels died when we were on vacation and we got home and they were Cover bingo's ears. Squirrels? <laughs> yeah. I used to have two pets. Yeah, the Florida has a lot of squirrels. Is they, that against the law? They they oh. fell out of the tree when they were oh. babies. And we used to have this really big like bird cage. Oh, I feel like you told me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, why you're so attached to bingo. I think so. Because really you, lo you lost your, what was the other ones then? Rocky and Bullwinkle. Wow. Rocky and Balboa. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't name uh, this one Rocky or Bullwinkle. Rocky's Rocky. cute. That's a cute name. Yeah. Who was Who was Rocky and which one was Bullwinkle? I don't know. I think that's why we named them both, but. No, oh. It's, oh. It was the same squirrel. But Rocky, <laughs> but I think Rocky is the chipmunk and then Bullwinkle's the moose. I think so. In yes. the cartoon, right? I think Rocky's a really good name just like for a kid. Rocky's cool. What? Yeah. It's a really good name for a boxer. Oh, my yeah. next door neighbor's name was Rocky growing up. So that's a cool name. They like that. Rocky Frey. I kind of like it as for a girl's name too. Growing up, my favorite name was Roxy. Everything I named Roxy. Heath, Roxy That's is cute. a really good any, name. Any girl thing, I named it Roxy. But it's also very like it was like it was like my car was rock. I Wasn't called it that Roxy. a brand Roxy? Yeah, was yeah. It, it was a, a butterfly. Heart it was two quicksilvers two, and a heart. You take two quicksilver logos and you put them together, and it was the girl version of oh. quicksilver. Oh, they still have that. Mm -hmm. But wow. mine was R X I because I was like <laughs> I was like punk rock with it. Uh, <laughs> you know? Remove the vowels except for the yeah, I. Yeah, you know. 
I know we had a little Valentine's Day um, yeah. thing we wanted to do on this episode. <laughs> what is it? I'm excited. <laughs> uh, so we. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, so if you didn't know, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We actually went on there today and asked people to submit their craziest love uh, situation drama stories that they had. Um, so we're going to go through a couple of them. We're going to read them on here. And uh, thank you for uh, our patrons that submitted everything. Um, so we're just going to go. You guys did these. it quick too. Thank yeah. you. Do you want very, me to, very good. Do you want me to read it? Or do you want Staten Island mom to read it? Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I have such a good view right now. Yeah, I can see everyone's seat. camera Let, angle. I can see, it. Zane, I can see your pimple. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Hey. Or I put makeup on it. That was it. good. You, you're not supposed to know. That was that. good. All right. All right. No, Matt, you can read really it. And then Zane and I are going to chime in, give our two cents and advice. Hey, this one. I really wanted Staten Island mom for this one. Should we person's name no keep oh, it in no, no names all right no 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 staten island mom yeah all right go Come on, Bubba. all right she's not very good at reading but all right <laughs> here we go i'm currently in a relationship with someone who's in jail and has been in jail since september Oof. he is older than me but by eight years but it gets worse he's my cousin's <laughs> baby daddy and nobody knows should i stay in this relationship or should i cut it off because when my family finds out everyone's going to turn their back on me but I really do love him and I care for him and his kids. What do I do? What the hell do I do? Um, that was perfect. <laughs> I, that was really good. Um, I think for, it's your cousin's baby daddy. Cut it off. You gotta cut it yeah, off. Yeah, right? I think that is a bad. You gotta distance yourself there. I, it may feel one way, but that is not a good situation. If what is he in is. jail for too, by the way? Let's get those details. Yeah. Yeah. Already she's phrasing it, but it gets worse. <laughs> so right. already, like, you know, your subconscious knows. Yeah, you, right. She, you I agree. sound like a good person because she has a, con like she, her conscience is right. telling her. And you and you care bad. about the kids. And I'm sure that's like a hard thing right. to have to deal it's, with too. And but. especially if, if people are going to freak out when they find out. It's giving forbidden fruit. Yeah. yeah. You, know? you don't want- It's giving you can do better. Yeah, he's, you, and you deserve better. He mm -hmm. is using you. He is probably flattering mm -hmm. you so yeah. much because he wants you to take go, uh, to, to take care of his kids. Yeah. What type of give and take in that relationship? Trust me. Right. He is taking- And, and he's also in jail too. So he's probably thinking that you're all he has too. So he's seeing you as it, like a, like a, like a scapegoat or like yes. to, to get what he needs while he's in jail. And I bet he's flattering you so much. And yeah, it's keeping somebody around for convenience. I exactly, think. exactly. How is, can you communicate frequently in and jail? I, I, well, seeing on TikTok, how many people have phones in prison? Oh my I mean, God. Oh, seeing, oh my goodness. I, I I sent Heath like three or four TikTok, like prison TikToks. It's wild. And, dude, I, it's I, like, so, I, so at some point, I, I really think it's 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 fake. It's a set. Because there's just no fucking way. It, it's Benny Hanna up in there, yeah, man. They're like, <laughs> they're like tossing shrimp across Bro, like. They're having the, a full on barbecue in there. It, it, it's insane. What? It's insane. What if what if it's actually really nice in prison? <laughs> I, I, th that's why a lot of homeless people, they try to get arrested because they get a better uh, they get, care they of get in jail. Food, they get housing. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. Um, I kind of want <clears throat> you to read this again. All right, I'll read it. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> all right, this is uh, our next submission. All right, here's my situation. I just had a baby eight weeks ago. My now ex-boyfriend breaks up with me six weeks after I had this baby because he's lost feelings for me and isn't happy. Come to find out, he literally is sending D pics and flirting with other women. Literally not even a week after he breaks up with me. Make that make sense. Oh, and I should mention that we currently are living together and he sent me the pictures in other room while I'm sleeping with his son. Jeez. <gasps> I'm going through it, y'all. Yo, how do you say yo? <laughs> <laughs> that? That's not how mom can't say that. We got her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going through it, use. <laughs> use all. But your podcast honestly makes my whole day and it makes me a lot happier. Oh, thank you. I'm thank glad you. we can help out and thanks for watching. Wow. Um, that is, is a situation, that's for sure. My heart. Okay. My heart breaks for this wow. situation. This shit okay. pisses me. I know off. it's. I'm like, it, especially knowing it's one of our listeners. Like that, it breaks yeah, yeah, yeah. my heart. And knowing that, like, they're finding you know comfort in listening to our podcast, and this is the situation they're in. Eight weeks. Well, you don't need to make it make sense. It makes complete sense. Yeah, he definitely seems uh, like he doesn't want to own up to, and and be responsible for you know what he is is responsible for. He doesn't think that uh, this baby is uh, his responsibility at yeah. all, Which and you sad. also.
And I know it doesn't make sense now, but there is a bigger plan for you down the road. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be much happier than you can imagine with somebody and, else. And the fact that he can do that six, like after literally six weeks later and he's already doing this with other people, it says a right lot. It was to begin with. Um, and I know it's probably very difficult to be in this situation, but seeing him do this should be um, honestly uh, like freeing in a sense. Cause you're like, yeah. wow, thank God I'm not with this any longer. I hope that you have um, a really good welcoming friend or family member. I would highly recommend not living with him. I think you really should get out of the picture um, and because create some boundaries and some distance because that doesn't really sound like good for your own like domestic environment mm -hmm. that he is being this terrible to you, especially like when you're in such a fragile state of raising this newborn child. Think about your baby at this point. You don't want that stress around your baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling this guy has a small dick. So, God, um, so get take, him, Zane. Take yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, he's sending dick pics. What is he? He probably has a yeah. What are you? What yeah. are you? Thirteen? Exactly. Jesus. Stop sending pictures. Get a yeah. get a life. Get Good a job. You know what? Good thing he did that this soon, it, yeah, right? Yeah. I think you dodged a bullet. Exactly. And the, and the baby is fresh too. You know, like this happened. The baby's out. Ugh, fresh, you need to get out too. Fresh baby. Weird, weird choice of words there. Ugh. This baby is fresh. Like fresh just baby. Fresh linen. <laughs> fresh linen. Wow, that was amazing. Okay. No, no, that, that's not amazing. This is amazing. Um, <laughs> I think what he's trying to say is he thinks it's amazing that we're <laughs> we're trying to help. People. We're trying to help. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is this might be hard for some people too because we're not telling them what they want to hear. Like we're not like just stick it it's out. Our, it's our honest, yeah, genuine thoughts and advice. I just don't want to come this, off as mean, but yeah. that's we, like the truth. Well, if this was happening to one of us, this is exactly what we would say to but that also, one person. Right, in this but room. this is this is like better help. It's it's unbiased, just genuine, exactly yeah. right advice. It's not telling people what they want to hear. Exactly. Right. All right. Next one. Here we go. You want me? You want me to read it now? Or are you good? <laughs> this is long. <laughs> I, I, you know, you know, it's long when I my eyes go straight to the bottom and okay. I start going backwards. Right, I'll, I'll try. I'll, you know, what I'll try. Okay. Huge fan here is my current. Oh, what? Huge okay. fan. Here is my current dilemma. Okay. Huge fan here. Here is my current dilemma for Valentine's Day. All right. So I'm 21 years old. I go to Penn State. Penn State. My brother went there. That's uh, obviously a big party school. So I was out for a few weeks during, I can't read this. So, <laughs> Zane, no, let Zane read this. I can read. I just, I don't really understand no, what I'm this reading. This is hard. Yeah. Uh, all right. Hi, huge fan. Here is my current dilemma for Valentine's day. Okay. So I am 21 and go to Penn state, obviously a big party school. So I was out a few weeks ago during syllabus week, the week before class to start when everyone goes out 24 seven and ended up going home with this guy who told me he was a graduate student here. I didn't think anything of it until I went to class the following Monday and he was my <gasps> professor. I got his number and we've been texting, but I still don't think he realizes I'm one of his students. Oh, My current man. dilemma is if I should continue to hook up with him because I actually really like him and had a lot of fun, or if I should just ghost them because he realizes because obviously it's wrong to fuck your professor. Um. Oh my gosh. Before okay. he Here's the All thing. Right. This obviously okay. happened outside of school. So you had no idea that he mm. was your professor. So you, obviously- That's why you always go and rate my professor. Yeah, <laughs> anybody you're talking to. It was a genuine mistake, right? But I think before this but gets really- But she wants really, to keep it going. I know, I know. It. But before this gets really ugly, and this is gonna get not only really ugly for you, but it will get ugly for the professor too. And this could like be uh, just- I think it's your responsibility right now because he clearly didn't recognize you in the class. Um, but if you recognize that it's him and that he's your professor, I feel like it's up to you to be like, hey, just saw your my, my professor. Um, like to at least make it aware so you guys are both at least on the same page, right? Yeah. yeah. Because if he didn't see you in the class, I mean, he doesn't know and still doesn't know. Um, so I think it's up to you right now to tell him and then you guys got to figure it out from there, but yeah, either I switch don't think, classes. I don't think it is appropriate yeah. at this time. I think whatever's meant to be is going to be. So I say, cut it off. I have a question. What's the word I'm looking for? Something, I don't know. I say, cut it off now in the future when you graduate, if it's something that gravitates back to you, then you can figure it out from there. You can know the what I mean? I feel like yeah. it's just not appropriate yeah. right now. It, I, I agree with you, but I, now I'm, I, it just hit me. Age, is the professor the same age as the student? Probably not. No, no. she's 21. He's a grad student. I would say four or five years older. I okay. would say 
that uh, uh, do not tell any, no one in your class yes. can find out about this. Don't even tell it, even though it sounds like some juicy information. Honestly, I wouldn't even tell your friends. If, <laughs> As we just if put it's it too late. If yeah. you want to keep this going though, because once people hear that you're hooking up with a professor, that is some hot fucking tea and it will spread, spread. like wildfire. Especially at Penn State. Not even your closest best friend will keep on her. She will tell at least one of her besties and then that shit will spread. Um, like but, but if you want to keep it going, um, honestly, <laughs> I, I see no problem with it from an ethical point of view. Um, uh, he'll take notice of it. You may be surprised that he doesn't want to continue talking to you because he doesn't want to put his job at yeah. risk. Once there's like a little bit of like academic favoritism, he's being nicer to you all because of this. Eh, be very careful you both can with that. Get in trouble. And you be firm with him. Go, I want you to grade me good. Oh, like, no. oh like don't don't ask for an easy A. You know, you might be Matt, getting that D in another Matt, way. You know what I'm talking Matt, she, about? She's in the class in the back and she's just like. <laughs> but if I was a grad student. Oh, oh, absolutely. Wear your best outfits. But if I was a grad, <laughs> but if I was the grad student, do not hook up with your student. That is yeah. one of the most unprofessional things ever. Oh, absolutely. If I was yeah. the grad student, no. But this girl, I don't know, one of my good friends, she's now married to one of her like former TAs or grad student professors, mm -hmm. and they lived happily ever after. So I'm not against it, but Just I do tread, think it's a tread. bad. Tread lightly. Tread lightly and be and weary. Don't take it personal if he goes to you because he has a really good reason why he ain't talking to you and it's because you're in his classroom. And if you, um, what's your, oh, we're hiding names. Oh my God. <clears throat> Imagine we're alive. And I was like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, if you really like him and you want to make it work drop, and you drop don't, the class. and you don't want to tell him, drop the class. Or if you tell him and he's kind of like interested, but he's too scared of his job. Drop the glass. Oh, can I do this? I Okay, there was a wedding one I thought it'd be yeah, fun yeah, to do. Right Unless there. we've done too much wedding talk. No, this is the Valentine's episode. Can I read this? So I'm getting married in a few months and I'm needing major how to not be an asshole advice. <laughs> My fiance, let's call him Jake, has a best friend who is a groomsman in the wedding. Hold on, I just want to follow that. Let's call the groomsman Todd. Todd has a girlfriend who I absolutely cannot stand. Mm. Not because she's 10 years older than all of us, but because she has a multitude of rude comments. She has, but because she has made a multitude of rude comments to me and many of my friends and also made another groomsman wife cry at our engagement party. She also has a major drinking problem and has been kicked out of a wedding before due to this. I don't want to be an asshole and just say, you're not coming because I also feel like it's Jake's place to tell his friend, we don't fuck with his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about making her, I'm worried about her making others uncomfortable, sorry, as well as being a liability because she can't control herself when she drinks. Please send your advice. I, mm. I, I have, I, I know exactly what what they need to do or what she needs to do. It's your wedding. You it's your fucking rules. wedding. Yep. Todd, Todd's a groomsman. Just say, hey, since Todd needs to be a groomsman that day, he needs to be focused on being with your fiance. I think you gotta be completely honest with Todd yeah. and tell them exactly, because it's not like people secretly dislike her. It sounds like she's already caused a lot of problems in the past. And I think at that point you just be honest. True, but my only concern is do not, by you making this decision, you might, actually be creating more drama and conflict and anxiety on the day that's supposed to be your special day. Mm -hmm. I hope that it goes so well for you. And I hope that like you don't have anything, but imagine it is your special wedding day and there's like all this fucking drama and text and the whole group is focused about that when really the day should have been about celebrating you when you could have just been like, you know what? She can come. I'm just not going to look at her. I don't care. I think, I think it's, there's a, a, a talk to be had with Todd to be like, listen, this is how we feel. I yeah. personally, I don't think I would want your fiance, whatever it was to join um, because I think this is gonna be the outcome. If you think you can keep her from acting like this or getting too drunk and potentially ruining the night or the party, please, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate that. If you don't think that this is possible, I have to like respectfully ask you to not, not bring a turn. her. But if you think that, you know what I mean? I think that the talk is to be had with the- Or have security. And trust, you will be <laughs> dealt, dealt with. with you will be dealt with. I, I think I th uh, a security guard. <laughs> Honestly, that's a good thing to have. At, at your wedding, a security guard. Sir, I want them out. Out, yeah. You give them one chance and then boom, out. How much is the security guard? If it's worth paying a couple hundred bucks for that piece of If you're of paying mind. for a wedding, I think you have enough money for a security guard. Oh, true. There's there's no worse feeling than having like a security kick somebody out because you like 
feel uncomfortable doing it yourself. And then that person comes back with the security guard and they're like, you want, <laughs> why did you want me out? <laughs> and then you're like, you tried to avoid that whole situation. Remember, remember oh, we were in, in Arizona. Arizona? In Arizona, we had somebody that was like really, really bad. And we're like, they cannot be here. Like, no, anymore. this guy like, was crazy. He like, was going to the bartenders saying that Heath was trying to buy, there was a certain drink that was like- $30,000. $30,000 that like high end people pay for. And this guy kept going over to Heath or the bartender and saying, he's paying for it. Can you bring it out? So they would come over to verify and they're like, you want the 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 champagne flight or whatever? And I'm like, what are you talking about? No. He's like, this guy keeps saying you're ordering it. And he keeps trying to order it like five times now saying you want the champagne flight. And I'm like, absolutely not. If this guy says anything that we want to order, do what? not trust him. And he kept doing it. He was and trying then, to get everybody to pay for certain things and telling everybody. Yeah, he was telling and everybody I, else to pay for shit. But he, this for, guy's also like blacked out. So I told security, I was like, can this guy not be in our section anymore? Like he keeps trying to order this like insane drink. Just like keep him away from us. Like, Cause nobody knows who he is. Yeah, nobody knew him. I was like, please just get him out of here. And all of a sudden <laughs> they like kick him out and they're like walking him. And then I don't know if he's like, no, 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 I'm friends with him. I'm friends with him. So then they both come walking back and they're like, He's like, you're trying to kick me out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, if I would have done that, I would have just done it myself. Like, um, Matt, I was like, this happened for hours. Multiple times. He would get times. kicked out and certain securities knew about him and certain didn't. So they would just let him in and he'd be over our shoulder. And then he'd be pointing at me. I'm like, oh my God, just go. Does this guy like have issues? He was just wasted. Oh. By, wasted. by himself. He didn't have anybody with him. Oh God. It was crazy. Poor thing. He was going through it. If you're a security guard, just keep it anonymous. Just, <laughs> kids, just kick them out. Don't come back. <laughs> Stop coming back. Oh, man. Anyway, um, thank you uh, to time. all of our patrons that submitted those. Uh, we really appreciate it and hope we helped a little bit. Yeah, we want to do more of these. That was fun. I really did enjoy that. If you want to check it out again, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. And uh, I'm sure we're going to be doing something like this in the upcoming episodes. Uh, yeah. That we can have you guys submit things into. For different days, different vibes, you know. Yeah. Trust. Trust. It will be dealt with. Jordan, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? You're going to Galentine's? It's a Galentine's. Yeah. For, the, for the gals. I thought that's what it was, but apparently it's just like a gap. people meeting. Zane. Oh, that's what you call it? That's what Galentine's? Galentine's? Yeah, we, like, should, we should do Palentine's. Palentine's. For the, for the boys. Galentine's. I know we wanted to have a little segment before we close it out of any, Not it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day themed, but like romantic movie shows, songs that you like to listen to. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. we like to talk about movies and stuff on this podcast but I feel like it's cool to have like a segment. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think my first recommendation would be uh, uh, this shirt <laughs> right here when Harry met Sally, directed by a Rob Reiner, starring the great- Mariah, you uh, asked for it. Oh starring the great Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan at their peak, also starring Carrie uh, Fisher and Bruno Kirby. Um, it's a great film, I highly recommend it. And then, but if you're going through some heartbreak, honestly, I recommend, Never mind. I don't want to say that album. Don't watch Blue Valentine. I'll tell you that much. You know what movie I really like? I've never even heard Blue of it. Blue Valentine with Ryan Gosling Ryan, and Michelle Williams. I, I went to oh. watch that on Valentine's Day in high school. And we, we thought it was going to be like this cute little like love movie, whatever. And it was <laughs> the, it wasn't, it was a good movie. It was just it's not what sad. we thought it was. And it was just. Uh, there is a good song in that movie. It's the You and Me by Penny and the Quarters. Mm -hmm. You and me. Ooh, that's a great song, but yeah, sad movie. I, I Got You Babe, great Valentine's song. Oh yeah, absolutely. Cher, it's Sunny and Cher. And then, uh, oh, I would say About Time is a fantastic movie. Really good for the soul. Valentine's Day is a really funny, good movie. Yes. Val oh, wait, is that the one with Steve Carell? It's that star cast. No, that's this. Crazy Stupid Love. I think you're Crazy Stupid yes, Love that is, is good. Crazy Stupid Valentine's Love. Valentine's Day has like Taylor Lautner, Taylor Swift. It has all the, it's like there's New Year's Eve and Valentine's Day. Yes. Those yeah. are the two types. Valentine's Day the, is really the good. super movies with all the big. Yeah. They, they always have the, like, what's that other movie? Um, uh, so It was a breakup movie. I don't know. He's just not that He's into just you. not that into you. Oh yeah. That one it also casts as like 15 mm. of the biggest actors. They, um, what was that? The one that I really love. I really love this movie for some reason. Fever Pitch. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I Fever love that good. movie. Yeah. Drew Barrymore really and Jimmy good. Fallon. They don't make them like that. Sometimes people anymore. think that Bieber pitch actually contributed to breaking the Boston Red Sox curse. Really? There's something about the movie Fever Pitch where like something wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for that movie Fever Pitch. Really? I'm gonna look it up. It's such a cute movie. 
I actually want to watch that movie on Valentine's Day. One of my all-time favorite movies is The Proposal. I know you yeah. like. Oh, I, I, oh, I like that movie. It so is good. so good. Oh, wait, you don't like? Who you said? No, I said he likes it. Oh, he likes it. So good. Who is it? Ryan Reynolds, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were and great. Sandra Bullock. Um, and then another one of my favorites, um, 10 Things I Hate About You. <gasps> so good. Such a cute movie. I've never seen that. Really? Never have seen it. You've never seen 10 Things I Hate About You, which mm -hmm. is also Taming of the Shrew. Mm -hmm. um, you've never seen that, 10 Things I Hate About You, oh, Zane. No. It's it is really, iconic. Oh, is really that Gabrielle good. Union and uh, what's his face? Gabrielle Union. Oh, yeah. Gabrielle Union, I think, is in 10. Close mm. out this shit. So mm. roses are red, violets, violets are blue. blue. Thanks for tuning in. We really love that, you. Oh, oh, I was gonna say we really thank you, but oh. love you is better. Yeah, of course. Wow. Well, we're about to get uh, get started with our unwind. If you don't know what it is, we keep the camera rolling for another 20, 30 minutes and we post that on Patreon. So it's like an extended version of the podcast. Um, and, and since it's Valentine's Day, who knows what we're gonna do in the unwind? Zane and I are gonna make out. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Me, Matt, and Heath are going to do it a three-way makeout, Ooh. and Mariah is going to watch. Great. <laughs> it's going to be hot and steamy. Uh, we also post a bonus episode every single month on our Patreon. Close off. Um, and we... <laughs> threw, threw me off on that one. Um, again, make sure to check it out, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We also have Cremota Coffee, Cremota.com. We've got our Porsche shirt up. It's exclusive right now. And uh, get it while you can. We've got a whole bunch of different flavors, blends of coffee, and uh, again, best coffee in the world, Cremota.com. And make sure to check out Happy Hour Tequila Seltzer, baby. Mm -hmm. Best tequila seltzer in the market. We got four flavors. You can buy them at Ebby, any BevMo, Total Wine. We're, um, in, we're in Ralph's in California. We're in Ralph's now. Um, uh, Whole Foods in California. Mm -hmm. and, we're, and, and we're spreading more. That's right. We're in more stores every day. Arizona. So. We're going to Texas. Exactly. Cremota is in Ralph's. Yes. Uh, Happy Hour. You're not paying oh, attention. Oh, Sorry. It's all right. Um, I'm not on camera. <laughs> all right. Under, unwinders. We'll Underwind. Just, Underwater. Unwinders. Underwears. <laughs> We're going to see you guys in a second. Um, and we love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank happy you. Valentine's and happy Valentine's Day. Day. We love you.